Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll be talking about GDAO, which stands for Geospatial Data Abstraction Library. GDAO has some really handy tools for working with geospatial data, and it's used by a lot of the big softwares. So if you've used GIS or Google Earth or anything like that, chances are that you've used some of the GDAO tools already without knowing that you're actually using them. So if we want to get back to the source and we want to use GDAO just on its own without any of those softwares, we can come to this website here. So I've got the GDAO website open and I'll post the link in the, in the description below. And you can see all the tools available to be used with GDAO. The problem with using these tools is it can be a bit hard to get started and start using them. So in this video tutorial, I want to go through step by step how we can install and set up GDAO and then how we can start using it from the command line. So if we go to the download tab on the GDAO website, you can see all the versions of GDAO. And if I scroll down, um, you can see you'd need a C++11 computer compiler to set one of these up. So like I said, not many of us have a C++ compiler ready to go, so it can be a bit tricky to install. The way I like to install it is using Conda, which is a, an option down here. And to use Conda, you have to have Anaconda installed. So the first step, if we want to get GDAO before we can install it, is to install Anaconda. So I'll post that link as well. If I open the tab here, this is Anaconda. And you just want to come to this link, hit download, and go through all the steps to install Anaconda. Once we've installed Anaconda, come to your start menu, and you should have this command prompt. So this is where we can use the Conda tools to download and compile GDAO. So first we need to set up an environment to put GDAO into. And we can do that using Conda as well. And the command we want is Conda create n for environment and let's just call it GDAO1. Hit enter and it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do that. Click yes. So now we have an environment for GDAO to be installed into. The next step we want to do is go into that environment. So I'm just going to type activate GDAO underscore one. So now you could see before I was in my base environment, now I'm in my GDAO one environment. So that's good, we're in the right place for GDAO to be installed into. I'm just going to flip back to the download instructions here, and this is the command we want. Conda install from the forge channel GDAO. I'm just going to paste that there. And there we go, it's going. This might take a while, so I'll just skip the video ahead. Cool, so that's all finished now. And um, now we're ready to start using GDAO. So if I just go back to the Programs tab here on the website, and let's click one of these commands. So you can see it will give you an example of how to use each command in the command line. An actual example with some file inputs should be below. So if I just have a go at copying GDAO info, I don't have any inputs set up to use it. I can just come back to my command line here, making sure that I'm in GDAL1, which is the environment I installed GDAL into. If I'm not in that environment, I can always type activate GDAL1. And so in GDAL1, I'll just type GDAL info. Hit enter. And I didn't feed it any more information, um, like any of these inputs, so we weren't expecting it to work but GDAO has been set up properly and we're able to use it now from the command line. So I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching.